All right, welcome, I guess, back to me creating a Magic the Gathering Commander deck. Now, this series in the past has done very, very well, so I want to try and make another one. The plan for this video is I would like to make a dungeon deck. Now, if you don't understand the title of this Commander deck, you've gone and done it. Like, you've done, you've done gone. Dungeon? Like, it's, it's a stretch, but I feel like it's, it's there. So this deck has been split up into a few different parts. The first part we'll take a look at is the dungeons part, which I want to try and keep as many cards in there as possible, because I would like to... I would like for this deck to just... Whenever a creature comes in, it triggers a dungeon, or it does something that will help dungeons. And then we will try and win through draining our opponents, or like just completing the dungeons over and over and over. So as you can see here, there is quite a few ETB effects, there's quite a few dungeon effects. A lot of legendary creatures I've actually noticed. So what I need to try and do is I need to try and cut this down as much as possible because I would like this to be extremely focused and extremely... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Specific. <laughs> I want every single card to do a thing. Now, I've added Yorion to the deck because I would like that extra 20 cards. Now, you'll see why in... right now. <laughs> the extra 20 cards really are going to help me because I would like to sort of look into a party mechanic, I mean. So, I've got Paracas, I've got... Nalia, uh, a few other cards as well that really help or really, like, are looking for the party mechanic. And that's where they thrive. And now a lot of these cards here are actually part of the party mechanic. They're like Dwarf Clerics, for example, or Tiefling Wizard. So they will trigger the party mechanic. And I feel like it would be very helpful to have part of the party mechanic in this deck as well. Because it would just, it feels like it would just work. And what I've got down here is all of the just generic cards that I feel like should be in the deck. Or things that I want to try out. So for example, Arcane Signet, Soul Ring, Great Hinge. They're just strictly good cards that probably should go in the deck. And then I've got a few other cards that I thought would be pretty neat, such as the Mirror of Life Trapping, which it seems like a really fun card. <laughs> um, and Pendant of Prosperity, things like that, things that are fun, and cards that I just want to try out. So, what we're going to do first is we're going to review, I think, this sideboard. I think I want to try and add a few more cards to the party mechanic. I feel like that would be pretty cool. So, I will see you in a sec. I'll add as many as I can, and we'll, I'll see you soon. Okay. So I've removed quite a few cards. I'm not going to say quite a few. I've removed a few cards and I've added a few more. Um, so all of the top here should be specifically venture related. So venturing or taking the initiative or something along those lines. All right, these are all in the maybe board. We've got a few cards. The majority of these cards down here now are just nice to have. A lot of these are part of the flicker mechanic as well. Because I would like to uh, flicker the dungeons and make sure they just... Exile and come back in so they can re-trigger there into the battlefield effects. Now I want to just try and pump up this bit here. So give me a second, I'll add a few more cards to this list. Okay, well I've added a few more. Um, there's honestly not a lot of dungeon support. <laughs> and a lot of party support, really. If we really boil down to it... Oh, Kamis needs to be moved. If we really boil down to it, there's really not much. So I think what I'm going to be doing is having a great shell of a deck. Uh, for dungeons and for party mechanic, and then just adding really good cards on top of that to just support them. They're very combat focused as well, which I'm not sure if I like. Because a lot of these are like, yeah, for example, Nibble Trap Finder. The beginning of combat on your turn, if you have a full party, creatures you control gain whenever they deal combat damage, draw a card until the end of the turn. And a lot of these are just very, you get more dudes. Like your dudes get bigger and you get more of them. It's just, yeah, it's a lot of that, and I'm not sure if that's the way I want to go for this deck. I feel like the way I wanted to go was sort of the, the Yorian route of just flickering stuff so we can go through the, the dungeons a little bit quicker. Well, a little bit quicker. Much quicker, actually. But I feel like it might be good to just keep these in the deck because, just coincidentally, a lot of these cards are part of the party mechanic. So the party mechanic would just be better even the party mechanic would just assist my main game plan of going through dungeons. 34 cards in the deck. How many do I have split up? I've got 34, 17, 41. Hold on, let me just do some quick math here. Uh, 34 plus 17 plus 41 is 92 cards. Now I have 
uh, Yorian in the deck, which allows me to get to 120. So, what does that mean? Uh, 120 minus 92. It's, it's like I'm in like a math exam, right? You know how when you're in school and you're through a math exam and you're like, uh, go back to the calculator. What's one plus one? That's exactly what I felt like right then. So 92, yeah, I got 28 cards left, which means 28 cards for my lands, which is not enough. Not one of those psychopaths that only plays 28 lands in a commander deck. That's not enough, especially with Yorian. So I assume with Yorian, because the deck is now 120 cards, I will probably need to bump up the lands to about 40 to 42. It depends on what the dungeons I'm using, I guess. Let me look up the dungeons. Okay, these are the dungeons. We also have the initiative dungeon, which I'll take a look at in a sec. But if I am... I assume the majority of the time I'm going to be doing the Lost Mine. So I'm going to scry one, create a treasure, drain everyone, draw a card. So I will be most likely hitting land drops and creating treasures. So I will stay on my curve. Or I guess ahead of it if I keep creating treasures. It's really the drawing the card thing that I really want this deck to do. So I think if I add 42... Let's just say islands for now. I know that I need to split it up between... Uh, 42 islands. I know that I need to split it up between uh, all of the different colors, but I will get to that later. 42 is just a guide. Okay, so what do we got now? 76 plus 17 plus 41. Nope, you need to equal that. Thank you. 134. Okay, so we're only a little bit over. And I still think I need to fix this maybe board. I need to add, I need to add a couple of more signets, uh, just more mana rocks, I guess. Let's start cutting. What do we not need in this deck? Actually, we need board wipes as well. We don't have any board wipes. We have zero interaction. Oh my god, why is it so hard? <laughs> okay, let's add a few more board wipes. Okay, what's a great board wipe? What's a new board wipe? Uh, Supreme Verdict is a great board wipe. Let's add that to the maybe board. Um, What else have we got? <laughs> All right, Draft Sim, what do you got for me? What are the best board wipes? The best board wipes in Magic the Gathering. Top 60 sweepers. Uh, Planar Cleansing, that's too expensive. Chroma's Vengeance, that's a no. Austere Command, probably a no. Wrath of God, always good. I like a Wrath of God. Bane of Progress is an elemental, unfortunately. Red cards, we can't use at all. Flood of Tears is actually good. I'll add Flood of Tears. Toxic Deluge, Black Sun Zenith, Languish. No, Damnation, no. Merciless Eviction is like white and black. Eh, sure. You're just repeating cards. What are you doing? Show me something new. Oh, you're red. Show me something new. Save and continue editing. I've added a few board wipes. We'll take a look at them later. Okay. Well, I didn't remove any cards. <laughs> I only added more. <laughs> Okay, let's start cutting. Okay, let's do the Lord's work and start cutting cards out of this deck. Counter spell on theme, Deadly Alliance on theme, Spoils Adventure on theme, Code of Arms would just be insanely good in this deck. I don't need it. Sword of Dungeons and Dragons is just on theme. Covered of Prize, Skypo Plunder, Sword the Grave. Okay, that's all fine. The maybe board is something that I'm not sure about. Because there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff here that could be very, very good. And it's it all sort of works together. Like, there are definitely really good cards in this deck. Oh, I'll take it. Oh, let's get rid of Rukthar. I don't remember seeing any way to gain life except for the dungeons. So I think I'm just going to get rid of Rukthar. Fraying Line, I feel like can go. I want to try these. Soul of Absorption, I want to try. Nah, we'll get rid of it. Rod of Absorption, not Soul of Absorption. What am I on about? A Soul Ring of Absorption. Oh, that's where I got it from. Uh, Myriad Landscape, I'm not a fan of anymore. The more I think about it, the more I think that Myriad Landscape is just this very, very slow ramp spell, and I don't like it. Because they, they come in tapped. The land itself comes in tapped, then I need two extra lands to sacrifice one, and then get two more lands that come in tapped. It just, it feels so slow. Let's save and see how we did. We only cut like 10 cards-ish. Let's take a look now. 
with my scientific calculator here. Let's do some math. 76 plus 15 plus 42 is 133. Uh-oh. <laughs> That's still a little bit high. The thing about cutting all of these cards is they're all just good with themselves. Hold on, let me rephrase that. <laughs> that all of these cards are very good when you have a full party. Because, like, imagine you have all of them on the field at the same time. So then, at the start of my turn, start of combat, I target creature against 1-1 one, one of flying. Which means, this guy gets a free attack, so defending player loses 4 life, and I create 4 treasures, because I have a full party. Linvala, I choose a something, it can't attack a block and activate abilities can't be activated. Plus it gives all of my creatures hexproof or indestructible at the drop of a hat. Malakir drains everybody for 4, I gain that much. Uh, Nalia helps me get more. It's like they all work together, which is like, it makes it really hard to cut cards. Plus they all work with the original package as well, which is like, ah, come on, help me out. I really want to find a place for Abdul Adrian, because I feel like his ability might be very, very good. Because he comes in, he gets rid of all my creatures, and when he leaves, they all come back, so they all trigger again. But it's like, it just feels so slow. And I just, I don't know if it fits, you know? It's like, ah, come on. Good, good, good. Whisper Silk Cloak helps me get around stuff. Because all my creatures, like, they all get these combat bonuses, so they need to be able to dodge the blockers. Uh, just board wipe, board wipe, board wipe, board wipe, board wipe. Do I need five board wipes? Okay, Disorder in the Court is... Flicker. Flicker and Investigate. Uh, Eerie Interlude. Flicker. Flicker. Okay, let's save it and see what we're at now. Because I feel like I'm close. <laughs> but still not close enough. Alright, let's do some math. 68 plus 15 plus 41 is 124. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm still four away! I don't care if this deck doesn't win. I just want to have some fun. <laughs> I just want to venture. That's it. That's all I want to do. <laughs> I just want to venture a lot. Okay, I am going to add all of these cards to the main deck, and we will take a look at what the breakdown is of creatures, instants, artifacts, etc. Because maybe I have too many creatures in the deck, I need to start cutting those instead. Now, I know that the whole theme of the deck is party and dungeons and things like that. Yikes. <laughs> so we'll see what the breakdown is. 43 creatures. Yikes. Okay. Only one Planeswalker, but that's okay, because she's the only one that ventures on uptick. Lands, I don't need to take a look at at the moment. I mean, the breakdown of this seems pretty decent. We definitely need to cut through a few more creatures, and I think we'll be okay. I just want all of the creatures in here to do something, to, like, have a value engine. Like, if I play it, then it does something. Maybe the Archpriest goes. Champion Lamb holds a good, so I can get around. Elias, Eldrazi Displacer, Alesh Norn. It's just good. Firmament Sage. I think I get rid of Firmament Sage. I don't need to be tracking the day-night cycle as well as dungeons. That's that's too much work. Okay, getting there. We're getting there. Ah, okay. Let's save it. I think I just cut two, didn't I? <laughs> that's not enough. Okay, I don't want to do this, but do we really need 41 lands? I probably do, right? 41 lands is a third of the deck. Roughly. Yeah, so maybe I stay with 40 lands. 40 lands means it's a third of the deck. And normally I go to 36 to 38 lands anyway. I... Okay, I'll cut a land, which I... Hate saying, it pains me to say, but I will cut a land down to 38 islands. So that means I have 40 lands total. So it's still a third of the deck. And through all of the dungeon mechanics, I will be drawing cards, so I don't believe I'll be missing land drops anyway. Mirror of Life Trapping, I just feel like uh, it'll be fun, but I feel like it's an easy cut. 
Because, like, Mirror of Life Trapping is going up against Arcane Signet, Coat of Arms, Commander Sphere, Lightning Greaves, things like this. And it just, I don't think it makes the cut. It's a fun mechanic, but it doesn't beat the others. Alright, is that 120 cards that I just finish? I did, that's 120 cards, holy cow. So I still need to take a look at the lands, they are 38 islands, but I will, like, have a breakdown of that soon, hopefully. I am very white heavy in this deck, not very green heavy. I'm making a fair amount of treasures, I'm putting in things for free, the dungeons are helping me. I feel like I should be okay with this split. It is mainly white, yikes. Oh, but that's not my fault, the majority of cards that venture are white. Or that care about venturing. I'm looking at these and I'm seeing a, not a lot of them care. <laughs> so maybe I'm just making stuff up. Alright, thank you so much for watching. I will uh, fix these land situation when I can. And then I will probably put the link to the deck list in the description down below if you want to take a look. Thank you so much for watching. I... Man, making 100 cards is hard. Why on earth did I choose to make 120? Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.